What's up, pranksters? In this video, I'm gonna teach you five badass pranks you can. Ah, I got you, April Fools. I know most of you hated that voice, so I thought I'd teach you one last time with it. But now, let's get back to business. The following are five pranks you can successfully pull off on your loved ones on April Fools Day. Check it out. For the first prank, you're gonna need an empty container, preferably black, a smoke bomb, and a lighter. I gotta say though, this prank is not for just anybody, so prank at your own risk. Let me show you how it's done. First, apply some hot glue on the bottom of the smoke bomb, then stick it inside the container. This will keep the smoke bomb in place so it won't melt the container. Once dry, carefully ignite the fuse, but don't put the cap on right away because it might put out the fuse, so time it correctly and then twist the cap on. When your victim opens it, all the smoke will come out. Though it's not a lot, it will definitely stink up the house. That's when your next prank comes into play. If your victim can't take the smell from your first prank and wants to open an air freshener like this one, here's how you can booby trap it. Once it's half empty, flip it upside down and begin to fill it with fake blood, but just enough so it doesn't overflow when you twist it shut. Wipe it down and put it back where it goes. Your victim will be in for a bloody surprise when this air freshener is opened. Here's a way you can embarrass your friend at school or one of your coworkers at the office. These are the supplies you'll be needing. Begin by cutting open the fart bag. Dump some of that stinky powder into a Ziploc bag. Mix some water into it and extract it with a plastic syringe. But be quick about it because this stuff really stinks. Have your victim's pen handy and add a few drops of that stinky liquid inside the cap. Put the pen inside and if necessary, clean it off. Leave the pen in your victim's possession and when he or she uses it, all that smelly odor will be released into the air. Everyone around class or the office will notice where the stink is coming from. Some drops might actually fall into your victim's clothes so they'll be stuck with that smell all day. This is a fun April Fool's Day prank. Here's another way you can use a fart bag to prepare a prank. We're gonna make some fake poop that will really stink. You'll need some peanut butter, chocolate fudge, wax paper, and as I mentioned, a fart bag. Lay out a sheet of wax paper. On top, put a spoonful of peanut butter and some chocolate fudge. Take the sheet of wax paper and put it inside the microwave for about 10 seconds. While it's hot, mix it together until you have the desired color for your fake poop. Spread it around and put it inside the freezer. After about 5 to 10 minutes, take it out. Cut open the fart bag and sprinkle some of that stinky powder on top. Roll up the fake poop and mold it into any shape you want. If you do a good job at it, it will look very realistic. Since the stinky powder is covered by the peanut butter and fudge, it won't stink until someone rubs on it or it's smeared. Find a place where to put it, and the best place is the doorknob behind the bathroom door. This prank works every time. Believe me, it won't let you down. Your victims will actually think this is crap. Since you're already in the bathroom, why not set up another prank? This time, all you gotta do is lift up the toilet lid and dump a whole bag of ice inside, all the way to the very top. You might think this is pointless, but think about it some more. If your victim is going in for his morning dump, he will have to take out all the ice to be able to flush. This prank is enough to frustrate just about anyone. And don't worry about damaging the toilet because the ice will eventually melt. And that's it, 5 April Fool's Day pranks you just gotta try. I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out this video. If you'd like to see more, head over to my channel, youtube.com slash nextraker. There, I have more videos on how to pull off the funniest pranks on people you know. I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching.